coming up today how to make a pizza oven out of bits and bobs here James pulling back in the yard and a tyre hitting on the Merlot so I guess something's come out of it a plug or something so good job I'm opening the workshop I think a lace is blown out of there probably not out with a full bucket of soil up. bit of flex in the tyre maybe come on keep going I'll do put a full lock on now over there. I think it's blown the lace out. So the camera cut off before I'd done it, but it's fixed now. Fins have arrived, so don't forget to say where you're watching from. Christian will be happy tomorrow. Got a banger, got the bucket. I'm gonna throw it in the bucket, see if it makes more noise. Feel the wheat now. So you can see him landing over there now, 50 acre block. Let another banger off in the bucket and see what it sounds, see what comes up. Probably about 500. Just picking a cement mixer up and some cement from the other farm because I'm going to try and make a pizza oven with a gym ball. Quick update on the brickwork. A little bit left to do on the back, finish down the sides, finish the front and then it's done. This barn that had loads of holes in it, we've patched it up with some fiberglass sheets that Ian and David gave us. So hopefully now this is weatherproof. We can get all this old stuff out of here, move the hay from the other farm to here out the way to make room for drying grain at harvest. So yeah, so they look like skylights, but then, well, they are skylights fixing the gaps. In case you've missed it, there's the churry picker up here for doing the rest of it. Got the ash bin on the mini Merlot because I need some ash for making me pizza oven because I'm hoping the boiler ash mixed with cement and a little bit of sand will make a nice mix. So I'm going to empty the ash bin into here, There's some sand already and a little bit of ash there. You know them blue steps, you see them in toy shops, they say don't let children climb, that's why. Just come up with the idea of using the, the tyre to put the wood on so that we don't have to so we've got to support it but the tire's not big enough so I'll have to get a crate and then a piece of plywood. I can't find my jigsaw so I'm going to have to try and use the rip saw to cut a circle out of a piece of plywood. So I left school 24 years ago and it's only today when I'm making a pizza oven out of a gym ball that I need to I need to use pi to find the radius or a diameter of a circle after knowing it's a circumference. So I've got the circumference of the gym ball with a piece of string we're now going to Google and we're going to type it into Google. Say, what's this, if the circumference of a circle is X, what's the diameter? Then we're going to mark it out on the wood there and then cut it out. So we've got that there now, 35 and a half centimetres. Draw a circle with two nails. Then we'll cut a circle out. Stand up and... Am I over the basket though, like proper? Well, yeah, you get that one. Right, so we used the app, we measured the circumference of the ball and then we worked out the diameter, then the radius and then we drew it round it and that should be a tight fit and the ball falls in. So that didn't work. But we'll aim. Um, I think if we blow it up it'll be alright. <laughs> Keep blowing it up. Go on, go in. Right, try that. Stop, stop, stop before it pops. Yeah, the pipe's leaking. Look at that. <laughs> 
Right, this is the off cut of the circle now. So we're going to make the, the tunnel that you put the pizza through. So we've marked that and then that's going to be the roof on here. So you'll see in a second. We're cutting plywood to form the tunnel. I'm looking for a piece of plastic to go over the top. Anyway, Jamie who's helping me found a big log that's the right size for the sort of the tunnel, the igloo bit. So we're going to use that. I just need some duct tape now to tape everything together so that when we put the, the concrete mixy stuff on the top, it all, it all um, doesn't go into the gaps, then we can't take it apart. Yeah, we cut them to make that bit, but we, Jamie found a log. So now we've covered it in insulation so it's a bit easier to pull the log out afterwards. Tape round there to cover the joints. Gonna put the wire mesh on the top now and then make that fit and then we'll mix the cement. When you do this bit, you have to be extra careful that you don't pierce the ball with the mesh, like Andrew's just done. <laughs> I see that. Right, let's put some glue on it. See if we can fix it. But I, 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 I Hopefully, on the way here, look that'll back. stop oh, it. When do you go back? What have we done? Four, four shovelfuls of ash, one shovelful of cement, and three shovelfuls of cement. We've got like that consistency now. <laughs> right, we've pallet wrapped it now so it'll come out of the mould easier, and then we've mixed something that looks a little bit like what it should. So we're going to put it on and see what happens. Gonna need a lot. Halfway through now, it's gonna slip in a bit. It's hard to get the mix just right. Got a little bit more to put around this side and put the wire mesh on. Also put an inch on it and then go again. My fingers are that smooth now. They've got no fingerprints are they left. Because I've been patting it on with my hands. So to make a pizza oven, you need a gym ball, a piece of plywood, some pallet wrap, a crate, mini Merlot, Big Merlot, a cement mixer, a bit of PTO shaft, a log, and lots and lots of patience. And I'm running out of it. Oh, and some wire mesh. Gonna put, done one layer all over now, gonna put the wire mesh on. Oh, sorry, a punch repair kit you also need as well, because we've punched it twice. Gonna put the wire mesh on now, and then do another layer. Covered it in wire mesh now, so I'm gonna put the second layer on. Second layer going on now. Just covered the mesh. Got a little bit more to do around this side. Let that set a little bit and then put a bit more on, I think. Okay. So it's like that thick, so it doesn't break. Gonna mix another batch of cement up now with the Amazon cement mixer. Kind of getting a bit of a landslide at the back here because I've started too far at the back of the board. Got loads of room at the front and none at the back. So I'm gonna have to get one of the off cuts and try and screw it onto the bottom there. Stop that sliding off. Four hours later, two bags of cement, two puncture repairs on the gym ball. A gym ball, piece of plywood, piece of PTO shaft, load of ash, load of cement. And yeah, uh, three or four hours. And we've got something now that resembles a pizza oven. So we did one layer, then another layer, put some mesh on, and then kept going around and smoothing it all off. And now, I've got to wait probably like a week or something for it to set and hope it doesn't crack taking it off the piece of wood and then i've got to make another slab for it to sit on or a metal frame with a slab on that we can move around with the forklift and then hopefully then we can get 12 14 inch pizzas in and out of it and it'll work just putting a bit of fuel to the boiler so it lasts overnight the bucket holds about 700 kilos of wood chip when it's dry and about 1.4 tons when it's wet so I'll put about three or four buckets full and that should keep it going overnight and uh, I don't want to be coming filling up when the match is on because I might watch the match I did joke that I'd go hedge cutting because the roads would be quiet but I think I'll be I'll watch it just in case history is made so good luck to England if you're watching it now it might be half time or you've probably watched it before the match whichever you'll have to let me know whether you're watching it at half time or before the match Just cleaning out the mixer now, we've got a pea gravel, just letting it spin round on its own for an hour or so, well, half an hour. Let it clean out. This is the finished pizza oven. Once it's gone off, hopefully I can pull it apart and make a base for it. It's one of them jobs, a bit like when I carved a bird with a chainsaw. Once you started, you kind of wish you'd never bothered. And you just kind of got to keep going because you've already invested that much time into it. So today's quiz question, have you ever started something and just wish you'd never bothered? 
or done something and it was ridiculously easy and you just got through it. Anyway, um, that was my effort today. Thought it'd be fun for Olivia. She got bored halfway through, disappeared, found an iPad. But yeah, there we go. Pizza oven made out of bits and bobs and a gym ball. Now you all know how to make a pizza oven out of a gym ball and a piece of plywood and a lot of patience and a good few hours and a cement mixer. So I hope you enjoyed that. Not really farming today, just apart from scaring pigeons. Tomorrow, hopefully, if the weather permitting, should be going to the JCB factory in an exciting way. Get some footage in that. Might be able to see quite a bit of stuff on the way as well, which could be interesting. Tuesday, given good weather, hopefully we're going to get combining as well. Also, happy birthday to Gerwin. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's Welsh. I did say how do you pronounce it, but it's his birthday today, so happy birthday to him. If you want to watch another video, you like click up here. If you want to subscribe, you click up here. And also, Alice is now the secretary of the Ollie Harrison fan club as well, apparently, um, I heard last night. So there you go. You heard it here first. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.